Hi everyone, I am Renata. I am a travel sketcher and a drawing teacher. As my family is all over different places, I have this opportunity to sketch in many different places. I was born in Switzerland, I grew up in Colombia, uh, my kids are in France. My main goal is to say everybody can sketch, no need to lots of materials with a sketchbook and a pen, it's enough. I choose this photograph I did in Paris because uh, today it's uh, uh, raining outside so I will do this demo with this photograph. I usually choose uh, my subjects because of the, of the shapes. I like also doing one line drawing. Uh, yes, one continuous line. This is the Pantheon in Paris. Very nice building and it's very nice place also. I will put some uh, colors now. I usually don't do skies because I think if you fill up, uh, color everything, it's, it gets heavy. So I don't uh, do skies. But this example, I will do a little bit of sky. black nor uh, other. I like mixing up colors to do the nuances. I leave now drying a bit. And do a bit of shadows. Got the windows, I put green everywhere. Putting some details, maybe I put this thing in the road. Sometimes I didn't want to put cars, but sometimes I, I added at the end. Even if, even if I have already done the, the background. I add a little bit of shadows, the red one anyway. Here, I put a bit of shadow here with sienna and ultramarine. Now I am going to sketch another place from Paris. I choose this one where I have been uh, uh, several times, Café Ode. And here I will do the, the watercolor first. My way of doing it is not going into details and doing uh, detail to watercolor painting. I just to like splashes and stains of colors. This is a method I advise a lot to my students is because they are afraid of a white paper. So doing uh, splashing and like this and then the pen, it's easier. Uh, it uh, takes the, they are less afraid about it.
I thought I was finished, that I finished my drawing, but I well, still add some uh, warm colors because when it dries, then uh, uh, you can see that uh, it's quite cold. So uh, I prefer putting uh, some more, uh, some more warm color. I never erase because uh, I think it's more spontaneous when you do the the lines uh, like this, they come out uh, uh, in dep depending the feeling of the day, uh, the mood, uh, the place where you are, all this influence in your, in your uh, lines. And the important is, uh, it's a travel sketchbook where I uh, express what I see in front. It's not a photography. It's not important to do it perfect. Uh, the important it's not the end, but the process. I like a lot the time I spend doing this. It has been for me very uh, beneficial for my well-being and also for my health to sketch because I enjoyed the moment. I'm not waiting to see, wow, it's beautiful at the end. No, I what I like it's the moment I spent doing it. I stop here. I could do more drawings, but uh, it could be too much. So uh, I think I am going to write Paris here. I didn't learn to write like this at school. Uh, it's the hand, handwriting uh, way. I, I use it only for this, for, for um, the lettering for my drawings. That's why it's good uh, Lamy, because it's quite uh, thick. Uh, now I am going to put more let hand lettering here. In the moment we have two drawings, they're separate. Before, some years ago, I used to do one here, one here, one here, one here. Now I try to connect the pages uh, on the whole. For example, here I put different uh, sketches and the hand lettering is connecting everything. For this example, I will do easily Pantheon. So I take this uh, uh, pen because uh, for doing this kind of uh, lettering, uh, I like this one. So I write normal, uh, Pantheon. The, the thing that happens a lot is I forget letters. When I do in French, I usually forget the letter E, but uh, I try not to forget. But there is always a way to, to take it and correct it, Pantheon with H. I mix up uh, lowercase with uh, Capitals. Um, I like putting uh, lettering because I think, uh, first of all, it's a travel sketchbook and the drawing uh, tells a story, but the lettering helps to finish telling the story. As I want to show another type of lettering here, so I am not going to write the, sh the road, but just the name from this coffee. I like mixing up uh, uh, lower cases and capitals. When I do a mistake, I'll always add the letter missing. Or I explain that it's a mistake. You see, it's easier with this one and gives color also. So now I can try with another pen, a lighter one. So I'm going to write here about today, about my feelings. So I, I will write uh, what I'm thinking now. Maybe, yes, I will do this. Um, I wrote in Spanish because it's the easiest. <laughs> this is my sketch now. I stop here. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching and uh, I hope it was useful for you saying these different uh, ways of doing the drawings and the hand lettering. Thank you.